hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to hide and show HTML table columns using jQuery table functionality now I'm selecting the checkbox email if I select the email column will be hide see country hide if I unselect email is back and the country is back salary that's it If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am using Notepad++. Now in this Notepad++, just for the time saving, I have already created a table with some employee details, employee name, country, email and salary. And above the table, I have four checkbox controls, the employee name, country, email and salary. Now before writing the jQuery snippet to hide the columns, first we'll check the basic output how it looks, the designing path on the browser. And this is the output of that code which contains right now the header tags, four text box controls and a simple employee table. Now my aim is I want to hide and show the columns when a user click the checkbox controls. For example, if I select the checkbox control country, I want to hide this country column. If I uncheck, I want to show the country column again on the table. So first, let's add the jQuery latest CDN. In the Google latest jQuery CDN Google. And from the search results, I'm selecting the hosted libraries. In the Google hosted libraries, notice at the corner there is a contents panel which contains jQuery, select that one. You can find different versions of jQuery snippets. I'm selecting the latest version 3.3.1. Just copy this CDN link. Below the checkbox control I'm adding. After that, I'm adding script tab. Now inside the script, dollar between double quotes, I'm using checkbox control to hide and show. So input column checkbox dot attribute function between double quotes. Between double quotes, I'm adding the checkered property. If the checkbox is checked. I want to hide the column. So check, comma, false. False means the column will be hide. Dot click function. Let's create a variable. Show hide column is equals to between double quotes dot plus dollar this dot attribute between double quotes I'm adding the name and one more thing notice the input checkbox control name I have added in the table headers as well as the table rows the EMP name class name and the checkbox controller name both are same. Let's add the semicolon dollar sh column dot toggle method. That's it, we have done the complete coding part. Let's save this file. We'll check the final output on the browser. I'm reloading the browser. Now I'm selecting the checkbox email. If I select, the email column will be hide. See? Country hide. If I unselect, email is back and the country is back. Salary, that's it.